Let's go to Matthew 6, 19 through 20. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So let me not get ahead of myself because <laughs> I would or I will tell the whole thing before I read every scripture. So <laughs> lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. Now, it is nothing wrong with buying things that you want. You can buy a car. You can buy a home. You can buy jewelry. You can buy shoes and clothes and stuff like that. But your primary focus should not be on that. Okay. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. This is saying your primary focus should not be on getting things and, you know, just buying things, getting things you want. Your primary focus should be on doing things for God, which is going to last forever. Let me break this down. <laughs> When you die, and if you get to heaven, no, when you die, you are going to be judged based upon what you did, what you said, and what you contemplated on in this life. And your deeds, your words, your thoughts are going to be in or a determining factor of where you are going to go. So if you consistently sinned purposefully or on purpose and you stay that way, you stay that way until a death, well, since you stayed in sin and did not repent, you wouldn't have to go to hell based upon what? Your deeds your words and your thoughts now let's say that you were a sinner and you sinned so much and you repented of your sins and you stayed following the rules and regulations of the bible you are going to heaven once you die if you stay that way Yes, we all are going to make mistakes, but if you are consistently repenting when you do something wrong and when you are following God's rules, if you stay that way, you are going to heaven. So our deeds, our deeds, our words, and what we contemplate on, what we think about each and every day is going to carry on with us. Give me a second. So if our deeds and our words and what we contemplate is going to follow with us to the afterlife and determine where we are going to live, why are we so concerned about things? Hey, Kevin, you know I need a car. I need a house, Kevin. I need, I need a diamond ring, Kevin. I need... All of these TVs and DVDs and stuff like that, Kevin, I need it all. So let me work all day, every day, so I can get the things that I need. I really don't have time for God because I need to get what I want. Your primary focus should not be on things because, as what this is saying here, those things are going to fade away. They are going to rust, they are going to decay, they are going to break, they are not going to last long. But what is going to last with you forever is your deeds, your words, and what you think about or what you contemplate on. I pray that makes sense. So determining... So... 
It is nothing wrong to get the things that you want, but that should not be your primary focus. Because if it is, you don't have time for God. So if you don't have time for God, then more than likely, you are in sin. And if you die in sin, where are you going? You would have to go to hell, right? Because you are not following God's rules. So this is telling you, don't be concerned about getting things because once you die, what is going to happen to those things? Those things are going to go to another person. Like I was talking to this older guy and he was telling me once his uncle died, like he had so much money and so many things, all of those things went to someone else. <laughs> so if he was so focused on money and getting things all his life, he wasted his life because those things did not follow him to the afterlife. It stayed here while he left. I pray that makes sense. Many people work so hard for things on this earth, but care not of the things that is going to carry on with them. <laughs> I pray that makes sense. Woo. 20. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And you may say, hey, Kevin, how can I lay up treasures in heaven? Well, <laughs> your deeds, <laughs> your words, and what you contemplate on. Okay, your deeds, reading your Bible, praying, fasting, doing things for others. And that is very broad right there. When I say doing things for others, that is so many things that you can do for others. So that category is very broad. Okay. Your words. Are you cursing that people? Or, no, we are speaking about getting treasures in heaven, being rewarded in heaven. Are you saying kind words to people? Are you complimenting people? Like, hey, that dress you are wearing is looking real, really good. Not that you are trying to have sex with that woman or anything, but you are saying kind words to that woman. Like, hey, I really like your clothes or your hairstyle or you are encouraging other people. You are ministering to people about God, your words. Okay, what are you contemplating on? Are you contemplating on evil thoughts? Like, hey, you know, I got raped or I got beat up you know, by this guy, I hate that guy, and, you know, when I get the chance, I will kill that guy. No. Think about good things. Like, hey, I am having a good day. Even when some bad things are happening to you, you still choose to think positive. Hey, you know, I love my mom. I love my dad. I love my niece and uncles and grandmother. You are speaking life, speaking positive things. And many people may say that, hey, Kevin, you know, that really sounds small. God cares about the tiny things, as you may say, as well as the large things. He is looking at everything. Everything is being written down. So if you say, well, you know, Kevin, you know, I just tell tiny little lies, you know, little white lies. What is a little white lie? A lie is a lie. <laughs> it is not like I tell, you know, big dark lies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is there a color to lies? You know, I, I don't get it, you know. 
But I pray this makes sense. Be more concerned about doing the rules and regulations of the Bible more than working your whole life and being so concerned about things and placing God back on the back burner. Like, hey, you know, I know that I should be, you know, going to church or serving God, but hey, you know, <laughs> I just have to do me. <laughs> the only things you do in Christ will last. Everything else is a waste. There is nothing wrong with buying things. Let me say that. But... When you make that your first option, like your primary focus, like, hey, I am just focused on getting things. Everything else does not matter because, you know, I grew up poor and, you know, I never really had anything. So now that I am grown, it is all about me. I want to get things, blah, blah, blah. And you are forgetting about God. That is wrong. That is wrong. So, I pray that makes sense. Be more concerned about with your spiritual life than your fleshy life because your fleshy or your earthly life is not going to last long. Perhaps 80 years, but for the most part, 60 or 50. Perhaps not even that. So I pray that makes sense. I know for myself, you know, I used to work so hard. Overtime, 50 plus hours. You know, I was so concerned about money, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I pretty much lost <laughs> almost everything. You know, all those years wasted. And I really don't have anything to show for it. <laughs> Because, you know, when you are in sin, you do foolish things, you know. But I thank God I lost everything just about. Because that brought me to my senses. So why should I go back out there and chase money again where there is no life in it? So I pray this makes sense. God bless.